Hi guys. Hi guys. I know it's not the TikTok video, but I promise you it'll be done soon. But before that happens, I decided that I'm going to make this kind of a quick video about things that have happened in my life the last in the last one or two weeks or so. Well, firstly, I got new running shoes. My mother ordered them online and I and you probably saw my and if you saw my Instagram post, you know you all know already that I've tested them and I got to say they were pretty good. <laughs> also, mm, we bought some tatami mats so that me and my father and also the rest of the family could train judo. For those who don't know what judo is, it's a martial art. So, we have practiced judo on the mats twice already, and I gotta say, it's a bit small, but we still fit in to do our thing, so it's fine. That's what she said. But in all seriousness, it's super cool that we have our own tatami mats that we don't have to go that we don't have to go out and risk getting covid because we want to tri we want to wrestle and throw each other bra music um if you didn't know um this kind of underground rapper called slutty sony 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 i, I don't have the n i don't know <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't know this underground rapper, uh, Slutty Sony, uh, uh, died in a car crash thingy, I don't know, some something like that. And to be honest with you, I had not heard of Slutty Sony, so I decided to give give a listen to his album Jupiter Plus, and I gotta say, um. Well, I had really mixed feelings about this album. Um, you can definitely tell that he took a lot of a lot of inspiration from X X X Tentacion's music, because you can sense a bit of X in his music. The overall feel of the album felt a kind of your ge your generic nowadays uh, rapper. Although there were some good tracks. I especially the heavier ones where there were gr screaming and such cuz <laughs> fuck you I like black metal <laughs> so I would say that the album was okay I would recommend to listen to it if you're into rap and want to hear underground rap and something that is Definitely influenced by X. Oh, speaking of X, though, I revisited. Um, I revisited his album Seventeen and Question Mark, and I gotta say, I liked Seventeen a bit more than Question Mark. And that's not because the songs were bad or anything, but with Question Mark, the songs feel like they are kind of all over the place like the themes and such so jump from from one t one thing to another very fast and although i think that was the point of the album um i still feel like 17 wa was better because it because of how it was constructed and how all the songs had a common theme which was, well, depression. But although I feel like this, I still gotta say that Question Mark has a lot of good songs in it. For ex for example, Sad and Moonlight are both very good. I like them. So let's move from music to movies. So I recently rewatched both Drive and Baby Driver, and I gotta say... Both of these are fucking great movies. Or I find they follow a similar type of story and the main characters are sort of similar. They have, they are both silent, don't speak that much. They fall in love with the girl and all this. But what makes them different is the fact that Nicholas Winding, Nicholas Winding Refn's vision of the story is more calm and more like more calm and moody and 
just at and at times really brutal and violent while Edgar Wright's vision of the story was more upbeat full of very good songs from the 70s and just great action and cinematography <laughs> yeah drive had good cinematography yeah i just forgot to mention it and you know what i love both of those films i cannot pick one over the other yeah i i i, I think that I think that's all, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get the ability to decide what I'm going to do next. Although, I will try to get the TikTok video done first. Thanks for watching. Bye.